Hey everybody and welcome to the end channel video blog and today what I want to do is a multi-bit screwdriver comparison between Klein and Milwaukee so let's get right into it. Now one of the first things I want to look at is the weight of these. Now I know that's not a huge issue for most people but if you're an electrician that's climbing up and down and getting on all sorts of things and your tool bake is a variable the weight of it is going to be an issue. Now the Klein is the lighter of the two and it weighs 0.35 pounds where the Milwaukee is 0.5 pounds but that is also an advantage for Milwaukee because if you see the shank right here it's monstrous in comparison to the Klein. So if you're someone that's a little bit rougher on their tools, I can definitely tell you that the Milwaukee is going to be a lot more resilient to everyday abuse, such as prying, using it as a chisel, or anything like that. Now the tools that are integrated with the Milwaukee 11 to 1 is a 5 16 a 3 8 and a quarter inch nut driver, as well as a number 1 and a number 2 Phillips, a quarter inch and a 3 16 flathead, a number 1 and a number 2 ECX. And now this is a really weird bit. It's a combination of the Phillips and the Standard, which we find in almost every electrical box. And it's also got number one and number two Robertson in it. And they also threw a couple more features, which I'm not overly fond of, but they are handy if you need them. And that is a wire stripper and a wire looper. Now the tools that are integrated into the client are a 5 16 and a quarter inch nut driver. And as far as screwdriver bits go, we got a number one and number two Phillips, quarter inch and a 3 16 flathead, a number 10 and a number 15 Torx which are great for working on VFDs, and number one and number two Robertson. Now let's just compare the ergonomics between the two. First off, the Milwaukee's really nice. It's got a rubber molding on it, but the one thing I really do enjoy about it is they've machined off basically two sides of the round profile. So when you place that in your hand, it really does fit to your hand more nicely than a completely round object. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a taper there that just really does once again accommodate the hand. With the Klein, they just got that traditional round that does not have any natural placement on your hand. Now one mild feature on the Milwaukee is those two flat spots as well as the octagonal shape they have at the front of their tool where the Klein doesn't have that and what that means is this is going to be a lot more prone to rolling off your work table or something like that where the Milwaukee is going to really find that position and maintain it. Now as you just observed the Milwaukee have the ability to function as a wire stripper and a wire looper. Although they're not the best wire strippers I've ever used, it does have the ability to work as wire strippers, offering a couple more features to the tool, which makes it ultimately stand out more. Now the fact that these are screwdrivers means that ultimately the heads will wear off, so price is definitely an issue when you're looking into this. Now the Milwaukee is $10 at Home Depot and the Klein are $14 at Home Depot. Now who's the winner of the shootout? I gotta give it to Milwaukee. First off, the ergonomics. This is a tool that we use more often than anything else. So the fact that there's going to be less strain on your body, you cannot overlook. Next, the price tag. This being cheaper, huge deal. Because this is a screwdriver and it's ultimately going to wear on the bits, you're always going to be looking to replace it. So price is definitely a variable when it comes to screwdrivers. And lastly is the wire looper and the wire stripper. Although they're not the best of their kind, at least they have the feature where the client is just simply a screwdriver. Anyways guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.